Grounding a generator while camping is an important safety practice to prevent electrical hazards and ensure the safe operation of your equipment. Here's how you can properly ground a generator when camping. Select a suitable location. Choose a flat, dry area that is a safe distance away from your camping area, preferably at least 20 feet away, to reduce noise and exhaust fumes. Make sure the location is well ventilated and away from any combustible materials. Check local regulations. Before grounding your generator, familiarize yourself with any local regulations or guidelines regarding generator use and grounding in the camping area. Use a grounding rod. You can use a grounding rod to create a proper electrical ground for your generator. Here's how. Materials needed. You'll need a copper grounding rod 8 feet in length, a grounding wire 10 to 12 gauge copper wire, grounding clamp, and a wire stripper. Drive the grounding rod. Insert the copper grounding rod into the ground near the generator. You may need a mallet or hammer to gently tap it into the soil until only a few inches are visible above the ground. Attach the grounding wire. Strip the ends of the grounding wire and attach one end to the grounding rod using a grounding clamp. Attach the other end to the grounding terminal of the generator. Some generators come with a designated grounding point. Ensure a secure connection. Make sure the grounding wire connections are secure and tight to prevent any accidental disconnections. Test the grounding. Once the grounding wire is properly connected, you can perform a simple test to ensure that the generator is properly grounded. You can use a multimeter to measure the resistance between the generator's frame and the grounding rod. The reading should be close to zero ohms, indicating a good electrical connection. Regular maintenance. Check the grounding connection periodically during your camping trip to ensure that it remains secure and effective. If you experience any issues or changes in the generator's performance, inspect the grounding system and connections. Remember, safety is paramount when using generators. Always follow the manufacturer's guidelines and recommendations for your specific generator model. Additionally, if you're unsure about how to properly ground your generator, it's a good idea to consult with a qualified electrician or professional before proceeding.